Today is Wednesday, August 26th. Yeah, can you believe that? It's the 26th. You know what tomorrow is? Shh, don't tell him. Tomorrow is Troy's birthday. Yes! So if you by chance see him or know his phone number, you should call or text him and be like, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Any guesses on how old he is? Hmm. I'm not gonna tell you, you're just gonna have to wonder. But enough about Troy, even though he's awesome. What's even better is Jesus. Yeah, and we're gonna sing a couple songs about Jesus today. And we're gonna learn some more of our Bible story with our friend, Ollie. Our good old friend, Al, Ollie the Owl. Yeah, that's a hard word to say. Ollie the Owl. Say that 10 times fast. Ollie the Owl, 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 Ollie the Owl. <gasps> I give up, I can't do it. Anyways, stand up, stretch up really tall. Touch your elbows, touch your belly, touch your back, touch your ears, touch your chin, touch your nose, touch your cheeks. <gasps> touch your feet. Ah! All right, wiggle your fingers. Show me five fingers. Show me 10, seven, three, zero. <gasps> Show me a happy face. Show me a mad face. Arr! Show me a sad face. <laughs> Show me a scary face. <gasps> Show me a sleepy face. smell of sleep there. I'm sleepy. All right, now we need to talk to Jesus. Yeah, we learned last week that you can talk to Jesus anytime, anywhere, about anything. So he's going to hear us right now when we talk to him. So get your prayer hands. All right, close your eyes. Let's talk to Jesus. Say, dear Jesus, thank you for my church. Thank you for a new day. Help me to learn more about you and help me to act more like you. I love you, Jesus. Amen. All right, we're gonna get our bodies moving. We're gonna do a song that my old friend, Owen Hathaway. Are you out there, Owen? Oh, there you are. Hey, Owie. I remember when you were in this program with me, you loved this song. You might still like it, I don't know. Ready or not, here we come. Sounds good right there. Let's do this. Come on. Now here we go. Find somebody, give a high five. Find somebody, give a high five. Find somebody, give a high five. Now here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Hands up. Clap once. Hands up. Clap twice. Hands up. Clap three times. All my friends are here and I'm feeling free. It's about that time to move our hands and feet. There's a dance we do with our whole body So come on, do the step, slide, clap with me Come on, step, slide, clap 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 That's how you do the step, slide, clap You see Find somebody, give a high five Find somebody, give a high five Step, slide, clap. Yeah, step, 
Now let's finish it up like this. Get ready. Last Here we time. go. Find somebody, give a high five. Find somebody, give a high five. Come on, find somebody, give a high five. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we need to sing one more song, and this song is kind of a rap that reminds us that we need to do something with our Bibles. What should we do with them? Should we put them up nicely on um, a shelf or a counter? Should we pack them away in a Bible? Should we bury them under our bed with toys? Should we leave them in the car? No! We're not supposed to do that. What are we supposed to do with our Bibles? Exactly, we're supposed to read them. Or as we like to say, R-E-A-D. I've got to R-E-A-D, my B-I-B-L-E. R-E-A-D, my B-I-B-L-E. R-E-A-D, my B-I-B-L-E. That's how God teaches me. I've got to R-E-A-D, my B-I-B-L-E. how we're going to know about who Jesus is, and that's how we're going to know how we're supposed to live and act. So, speaking of a Bible story, we're going to learn one right now. Yes, have a seat. Open your ears. Close your mouth. Open your eyes, and let's learn our Bible story together. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have. Friends, it's me, Lucy. The wind must have blew through the clubhouse because all of our pictures fell off the walls. What am I going to do? What a mess. How am I going to clean all of this up? It's too big of a job for me. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? You look like you are feeling blue. Hi, Ollie. I sure am. The wind knocked all of my pictures off the walls. There's no way I can clean them all back up. That is a big mess. It's true. But there is something you can do. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Hola, 
my friends. Hello. I'm Luis, the handyman. Good to see you. I'm just fixing this radio for my aunt Marisol. It's been broken for a while, so I offered to help fix it for her. That reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down now. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about a woman named Tabitha. Tabitha loved God and helped people by making them clothes which was good because lots of people needed help. There you go, guys. Wow, great job, Tabitha. <laughs> you helped a lot of people. Did you know God made you and me to help people too? That's right. Whether you're a grown up or a kid, you can help. Even if you can't sew like Tabitha, do you think God could use a kid like you to help others? Of course, yes. Let's think of things you can do to help. Hmm, you can draw someone a picture to make them smile. You can play toys with your little sister or cousins or neighbors. You can help clean up after dinner. You can give someone a hug and tell them you love them. You can help in so many ways, no matter how old you are. God made you to help. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. No matter who you are, you can help too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? What a great story. God made everyone to help. No matter how old we are, we can help. That means you can help and I can help. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good! Even though I am small, I can do this big job and pick the pictures up and hang them back up. Can I take one last picture of you? This time, give a thumbs up for being a happy helper. Are you ready? Say cheese! Awesome! I'll see you guys later. Bye! Our Bible story today was about how God made you and me to help others. We learned about a woman named Tabitha. Say that name, Tabitha, there you go. And what did Tabitha do to help others? Do you remember? Yeah, she made clothes for people who needed them. We've gotta have clothes, we can't walk around naked, can we? Ooh. So she knew that there were people that didn't have the clothes that they needed and she made them for them. That's how Tabitha helped others. And you know, helping others is one of the ways that God has made us fearfully and wonderfully made. Yeah, remember our Bible verse we've been learning? Let's practice it. Say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Try it again. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. So remember, God made you to help others. So, how can you help others? You're gonna have a chance to practice that. Before we finish out, I have a few quick announcements for you. 
First of all, I want to give a shout out to Ryan Thomas and his little baby brother Preston. Now Ryan is five, he just started kindergarten, and every Sunday and Wednesday he makes sure he does his church videos. His mom has sent me pictures and videos and told me lots of stories about how much he has enjoyed doing them and how faithful he stayed to doing them. And you know what? You know how we always tell you to set a good example? Well check this out, he has been setting a good example and now his baby brother is also singing with us. I have a question for you. Isn't it about time that the kids were in charge? I mean, seriously. Because obviously, you guys know how to do church. So, on September 6th, which is only a week away, we are having a kids service. And what we're doing is we're taking over the main worship services. Yeah, the ones in big church from at nine and at 11 o'clock. Guess who's gonna be in charge? You are. Yes, kids are gonna be leading, kids are gonna be speaking, kids are gonna be praying, it's gonna be awesome. Now this isn't just young kids, this is even teenagers. So preschool, elementary, middle, and high school students, you are in charge on September 6th. And on that morning, the live stream at 11 o'clock will be your service for the weekend. There won't be a video that comes out on Saturday or Sunday, it will be the live stream at 11 o'clock. But what we really hope is that as many of you as possible will be here that morning for one of the services. Last week, I told you some super exciting news, but I have to make sure you hear it again or maybe hear it for the first time. On September 13th, starting during the 11 o'clock service time, we are going to resume in-person kids classes here at the church. Yeah, it's for birth through fifth grade, which includes all of you. To start with, it's only gonna be during the 11 o'clock service, but eventually we'll also do the nine o'clock service as we step our way back into having classes here at the church. But here's what that means, is that we want you to be here with us on Sunday mornings. 11 o'clock, birth through fifth grade kids. I mentioned also we have a new security check-in system. Your parents are gonna love that. It's gonna be easier for them to use. They're gonna hear more details soon, but even more importantly, what matters most is that we are gonna be together worshiping, learning, doing activities, and just plain having an awesome, totally cool time. Yeah. You know Ryan, who I talked about earlier, about how he set a good example for his baby brother? Well, he was so excited when he found out that we were starting kids' classes up again. Check out this picture his mom sent me. Did you see that? You see how on the calendar it was circled, kids' church starts back? Yes. Ryan is excited, I'm excited, we want you to be excited. Make sure you plan to be here on September 13th at the 11 o'clock service to be in class with us. A lot of you did something fun on your summer vacation. I asked for people to send in photos. Here is the last round of pictures that were sent in. Check these out. A bunch of you have started school back. Some of you have started kindergarten for the very first time. Yeah, or some of you are going to preschool. Either way, we want to see a photo from your first day of school. I know your mom or dad took pictures of you because your parents are crazy about you and they want to document the big days when you start school. I already got one. Check this out from Isaiah. Isn't that cool? Isaiah is starting kindergarten at Freeburg Elementary and his mom said he did awesome. He rode the bus and he had such a great day. I wanna see some more photos just like that. Have your mom or dad upload a photo of you on your first day of school or preschool and upload it to tinyurl.com slash Mrs. April. We're gonna share them with all of our church friends and be excited to celebrate everyone being back in school. You have one more thing to do. Yeah, you know what it is, your activities. You don't just watch church, we do church. So have your mom or dad click on the link below the video, download the activity sheet, and work together to complete the two simple activities. We'll see you guys soon. I love you. Bye. Have a stand up. Okay, I mentioned that before we finished it, no, we don't have a stand up. No, there's lots of things we need when we 